Laravel's routing class is incredibly powerful with an uber amount of cool shortcuts. So in this tutorial, let's just go through some of the helper functions that this route service gives us access to statically. This route facade statically, colon, colon, lets us run. Um, and let's clean up just these two routes we have and just show what we can do. So first, let's actually clean up the routes not using any Laravel helpers. And we're just going to do that using our PHP 7.4. So you can do a shorthand function and implicitly return the welcome view. If you're in PHP 7.4 or newer, which you should be if you are using Laravel 7, then you can simply just do that. And then of course, you could also do route git and then home ID and then this and then die and dump the request ID where ID is a numeric value. And so there we go. That is the first way we can clean up our route. And that's not even using Laravel. That's using PHP 7.4. And as you can see, everything still works. And if we put a numeric value, we get the numeric value. Now, using Laravel, let's go even further. Let's say route view slash is our URI, our homepage. And instead of even needing to define the function that implicitly returns the view, when we use the view method, it just knows it should return a view. And so we just do route view. And so we can replace this with route view. Let's see if that worked. And it does. Okay. So route view is the first helper function. So you can use shorthand PHP functions and then Laravel routing has a view method that just says, hey, here's the URI, here's the given view. And then optionally, if you want to pass in some stuff, you can do that here just like you would with the actual view method. So that is pretty cool. I like that one a lot. So next, let's clean up this route git slash home wildcard ID route. So what we're going to do is we're going to do route git slash home slash ID, same exact thing. And then instead of using this request ID, let's just use dependency injection. And we'll just say die and dump the ID. Then we can do where ID is 0 to 9. So the ID, this wildcard section or segment of our URI, has to be numeric or it will return a 404 not found. If there's an A in it, if it's alphabetic, it won't work. And so this and this are the same thing. More than that, let's just go a bit further and let's try this out for size. Let's just return an array instead of dying and dumping. Just like that. And so now, whenever we hit the home slash whatever number endpoint, we inject the ID from our route parameter and then we're just going to return an array, which we learned in previous lessons will simply format a JSON object and return that. So let's test it out to make sure it works. So we're at home and let's go one, two, three, boom, properly works. And of course, if we were to add an alphabetic character, 404, not found. And this leads us to our next really cool helper function within Laravel routes. And that's the fallback function. Now this one's really cool because it lets us easily override our 404 pages. 404 is the HTTP code for, hey, this route was not found. And so what route fallback is going to do is we'll just say, hey, the code 
is a 404. The reason is not defined and therefore not found. And yeah, we'll just leave it at that. So now when we go to a route that does not exist, that should return a 404 not found, instead of returning this 404 not found page, we're returning a JSON response. So depending on your application, maybe you want to use fallback instead of the actual 404 page. The next method I want to show is the redirect method. And so what we're going to do is we're going to redirect the home page to our home slash to, right? And so now, even though we have our route view set up and this route is defined, because we registered a route redirect after we registered a route view, aka route redirect is below route view, we will automatically be redirected from our home page to home slash two. So try and hit the home page right now, redirect it. Now there is a, an important note on the redirect, especially if you care about SEO or search engine optimization. By default, the redirect is going to be not a permanent redirect. It's going to be a temporary redirect, aka the status code is 302. 302 means we are temporarily redirecting this home page to home slash two. Now, the other option is to set up a 301 redirect. A 301 redirect is a permanent redirect. And you're just telling all the search engines, mostly Google, to be honest, that, hey, you know, this isn't a temporary redirect while we're doing like homepage maintenance or something. This is permanent. This page will most likely always, for the foreseeable future, be redirected to this page. And so to make it a 301 redirect instead of the default 302 redirect you can add the third parameter of 301 now if we go and we try to hit the home page instead of getting this 302 status code we get 301 and 301 is a moved permanently redirect the other way to do this is just allow route redirect to be the default for 302 is that will set up a 302 redirect um, and instead of defining this third parameter like that you can simply say route and then permanent redirect and this will automatically add the 301 so you don't have to add the third parameter so route redirect automatically redirects a route using a 302 or temporary redirect HTTP code. If you want to make it a permanent redirect, a 301 redirect code, you can either add 301 here, or alternatively, just use the route permanent redirect method. And of course, if we were to go back to our own page, reload that, we get 301 moved permanently. So